Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about CBD oil for weight loss and obesity. Uh, now mainly CBD is used for things like uh, anti-inflammatory, pain management, uh, anxiety and depression. Uh, not many people um, ask or know about using CBD oil for, for losing weight or battling obesity. Um, and this article actually highlights five benefits um, that CBD has um, with, uh, for, for weight loss and obesity. So it's very interesting information. Uh, they've cited all their sources and they've, uh, they've talked about a bunch of studies. So definitely want to go through this together. Um, but before we start the video, please like, please subscribe, comment if you have any questions. Um, and it definitely helps out the channel growth. Uh, if you want to see me do more content and better content, uh, definitely like and subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel a lot. So thank you guys. Uh, but let's get started with this video. All right, so cannabidiol CBD is a compound derived from the plant cannabis sativa. Uh, the CBD oil is produced by diluting this extract with a carrier oil like hemp seed oil. Uh, CBD is basically a cannabinoid which binds to receptors of the endocannabinoid system, ECS, and modulates the activity of neurotransmitters. CBD is non-psychoactive and the oil confers several health benefits by relieving pain and inflammation. Alright, so overview of obesity. Obesity occurs when the body weight and fat percentage falls outside the range considered to be healthy for a certain uh, height. The excess fat mass acts as a potential risk for developing lifestyle related disorders like cardiovascular disease or type 2 diabetes and hypertension. A sedentary lifestyle coupled with a high stress environment is the principal cause of excess weight, weight gain. Uh, so now we can see already that CBD would help with uh, reducing weight and obesity just from the high stress environment using CBD to supplement uh, de-stressing your environment. Um, now sedentary lifestyle, that's, that's kind of on you. You gotta get up, you gotta move, you gotta walk around, you gotta do stuff. Um, but we can definitely battle the high stress environment by supplementing with a CBD oil. All right, so benefits of CBD in weight loss and obesity. The benefits of using CBD to help in weight loss and prevent, or, and preventing the development of obesity are mainly linked to its ability to reduce food intake and regulate the expression of genes and proteins involved in the progression of metabolic disorders like obesity. CBD usage inhibits the activity of certain key proteins involved in lipogenesis and fat cell generation. CBD also causes a negative energy balance by reducing the propensity to consume food during meals and increasing the, numbers, the number and activity of mitochondria, which in turn increases the energy expenditure of the body. It also promotes fat burn by promoting the conversion of white storage adipose tissue to brown adipose tissue that helps in oxidation of fats. Of fats. Okay, so this is a kind of overview of what they're going to be talking about in the whole article. Uh, so we'll definitely uh, get into each one of these points uh, more in depth. And it's definitely interesting uh, to see how CBD works with the body and how many different things that CBD can do for the body. Because it's a natural uh, compound, it just helps our body do what they're already naturally going to do. Um, just kind of gives you uh, um, a step ahead, really. All right, so CBD lowers lipogenesis. Lipogenesis refers to the mechanism by which acetal-CoA metabolic intermediate gets converted into triglycerides, which are usually in the form uh, where. Uh, are usually the form in which body fat is stored. Uh, acetal COA generally forms during the me metabolism of simple sugars, primary, primarily glucose, uh, which is the chief source of metabolic energy. Under the circumstance of a positive energy balance, the excess energy gets stored as fats in adipose tissue. Lipogenesis consists of the synthesis of fatty acids as well as their esterification to triglycerides. These products are generally released from the liver in the form of very low density lipoprotein uh, cholesterol. 
they are secreted into the bloodstream wherein they get matured and work to recruit and transport lipid uh, molecules to peripheral tissues. As a result, deposition of fat occurs throughout the body. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, de novo lipogenesis from different carbohydrates is usually associated with substantial energy loss in the form of heat. Uh, this process is usually initiated by the pancreatic hormone insulin and often inhibited by the excess secretion of hormone glucagon. Uh, while lipogenesis is required under certain circumstances, excess triglyceride levels indicate obesity. Inhibiting the rate of lipogenesis and preventing the formation of excess triglycerides are active areas of research. Uh, affecting the rate of lipogenesis may help in preventing the development of metabolic, uh, metabolic disorders like type 2 diabetes and obesity. Uh, recently, cannabinoids like CBD have shown great potential in limiting lipogenesis. A 2014 review by the University of Debrecen uh, revealed that an anti-inflammatory nature of CBD helps in limiting excess lipogenesis. Uh, several other studies have shown that CBD usage decreases the expression of certain key proteins involved in, pro in the process of lipogenesis and thereby prevents the development of obesity. Okay, that's really interesting. So uh, lipogenesis, oh, because CBD prevents or inhibits uh, the act of lipogenesis, um, that basically, like how it says down here, as CBD helps in inhibiting the process of lipogenesis by preventing the expression of certain important proteins, it helps in preventing obesity and promoting weight loss. Yeah, so that's very awesome. I'm glad that there's studies um, that confirm, or at least uh, help prove that CBD does limit access or excess lipogenesis, which would definitely help with losing weight, um, especially if you're if you're trying to lose weight in, in, in the process by working out, going on walks, uh, eating less, uh, it's definitely going to accelerate your weight loss even more. All right, so CBD reduces food intake. Food intake encompasses several complex mechanisms which combine a number of nutritional signals and behavioral outputs. It constitutes a behavioral regulation of body weight. Food intake provides the source of energy whose expression is controlled by the metabolism that works in response to the energy requirements. Eating behavior is simulated and suppressed by the signaling systems to maintain a stable internal environment. Research has established that sensory simulation is rather significant in promoting food intake. For instance, the sight, smell, or taste of delicious and hyperpalatable food is more than enough to stimulate appetite, even if the energy requirements are completely satiated. Uh, which is really funny because uh, it makes perfect sense. Even like I will, I won't be hungry, but I'll smell a donut, and it'll be like, yes, I can I really want that donut. Or someone, you know, mentions the word cake, and I'm like, yeah. I'm down for some cake for sure. So I can definitely see that happening. Um, and I know that CBD isn't like THC, where it's THC will give you munchies, will make you more hungry. Uh, CBD actually does the opposite of that. So uh, let's see what they let's see what they say. So hunger can be stimulated merely by the thought of tasty foods, which are rich in trans fats and sugar. Yeah. So exactly what I said. <laughs> uh, it can be inferred that pleasure signals. Um, have the capacity to overrule the homeostatic mechanisms that control energy that control energy balance. Now, these signals may make up the hedonist uh, system, which, in light of current research, has shown to play a considerable part in simulating the sensation of hunger and enhancing calorie intake. The excess intake of food in turn contributes to the accumulation of fat and abdominal obesity. Uh, therefore, in order to lose weight and shed excess body fat, it is imperative to control food intake and diminish food cravings. While several studies note that cannabinoids like THC increase food consumption, uh, the non-psychotrophic CBD has been proven to induce satiety. Sati sati the non-psychotrophic CBD has been proven 
to induce satiety and limit the intake of food. A 2012 experimental study by University of Reading investigated the role of cannabidiol uh, on feeding patterns of adult male rats. Uh, the study concluded that CBD markedly diminished the food intake and the findings support the anti-obesity effects of this phytocannabinoid. Uh, that's pretty interesting. Like I said, uh, CBD doesn't give you the, the, the munchies or once you make you hungry, uh, it does the opposite, or not the opposite, but it doesn't, it, it, it fills you up pretty much. Um, so you won't want to eat. Um, and if you're having trouble with eating too much, this will definitely help you out. Um, so CBD affects energy homeostasis. Energy homeostasis denotes the process that involves the well synchronized homeostatic control of calorie intake and calorie expenditure. Uh, the hypothalamus of the brain plays, plays a crucial role in maintaining the balance by generating the sensation of hunger via a number of signaling pathways. Calorie intake denotes the inflow of energy that has been taken up via food, solids, and fluids. Uh, the expenditure of energy or burning of calories primarily consists of the internal heat generated, uh, resting metabolic rate, and diet-induced thermogenesis, as well as external work a measure of physical activity. Uh, when the number of calories expended is lesser than what is consumed, a positive energy balance occurs and this, is, this excess energy is stored in the form of fat and adipocytes, uh, fat cells. Uh, while fat storage is necessary under certain, circumstance, or certain conditions such as pregnancy or hyperthermia, uh, it is not required in excess because of its contribution to obesity. Weight loss occurs due to a negative energy balance when the expenditure exceeds intake. Uh, therefore, several studies have been conducted to understand the mechanisms underlying the homeostatic control of energy balance. Uh, researchers have tested out several compounds to find a component that facilitates a negative energy balance. Recently, cannabinoids have come to the forefront in the sphere of weight loss due to its anti-obesity effects. A 2017 review by the Novet Institute uh, evaluated the diverse effects of, of CBD on animal models. Uh, it was established that CBD usage increased both number of active activity of the mitochondria. This in turn amplifies the body's propensity to expend more calories and create a negative energy balance. Uh, interesting. So a summary for this, as CBD has the ability to shift energy homeostasis towards a negative energy balance, by increasing the activity of mitochondria, it can increase energy expenditure and aid in weight loss. Yeah, so if you're working out on top of that, then basically your weight loss is accelerated. Um, uh, because the way CBD works with the, the body, it... Um, shifts the shifts the energy homeostasis and makes it so um, you're burning more than you put in basically all right so CBD affects fat genes sometimes obesity runs in families as per a prominent inheritance pattern brought up, brought about by changes in a single gene the gene mostly is uh, the gene most common commonly involved in the development of obesity is MC4R, which is responsible for forming the melanocortin-4 receptor. Melanocortin-4 receptor. Uh, changes in the receptor often induce excess hunger and overheating, hyperplasia, uh, which enhances body fat. All right. So studies have shown that variations in around nine specific genes have increased the risk of obesity and metabolic syndrome. In fact, no single gene is responsible for the excess storage of fat since the late 2000s. Genomics, uh, yeah, genoma, genomics and associated research have implicated more than 50 genes in the progression of obesity. Genes provide the foundation for the signals, stimulus, and response that direct food intake, and therefore even small changes such as uh, small, small changes in such genes can trigger major changes and affect the metabolism. Uh, some genes which are involved in the obes, obes, obesogenic phen phenotype are FTO, which promotes food intake, 
uh, PPARG, which stimulates the uptake of lipids and development of adipose tissue. Uh, therefore, to promote weight loss and prevent the development of obesity, uh, individuals must consume products that modulate the activity of such genes. Uh, recently, cannabinoids like CBD have been to the forefront as agents that can efficiently downregulate genes that promote an ex the expansion of adipose tissue. Uh, CBD essentially promotes the activity of genes which encode, which encode proteins that are involved in the breakdown and oxidation of fats. In fact, a 2015 study um, has shown that CBD administration lowers obesity by modulating gene and prote protein expression, which are the markers of such metabolic, metabolic disorders. And summary for this is as CBD helps in modulating the expression of genes and proteins associated with obesity, its usage can promote weight loss. And yeah, so on top of those, the, the last three things that we talked about um, in conjunction with this, um, even if you are prone to obesity because of your family genes, uh, CBD has been shown to help reverse that, which is pretty awesome. All right, so CBD promotes fat burn. Fat disposition occurs when the calorie intake exceeds the expenditure. Uh, when the metabolic rate is low, yet the calorie intake is excessively high, particularly in the form of high carb and high fat foods, accumulation of fat occurs in the adipose tissue. The expansion of fatty tissue can occur throughout the lifetime of the individual depending upon uh, the requirements and need for storage. Therefore, to initiate the loss of fat and excess body weight, there has to be a surge in the resting me metabolic rate and the metabolic reactions must be focused on the breakdown of oxidation of fat. Uh, this can be achieved by consum consumption of specific nutrients that amplify the me metabolism of fats to release energy and hence no are known as fat burners. Uh, thermogenesis is referred to as the release of heat as a direct consequence of the environment or diet. Fat is known to provide insulation as it's burning or oxidation uh, generates a significant amount of energy in the form of heat. Uh, brown adipose tissue is commonly responsible for thermoregulation and plays a crucial role in the burning of fat. White adipose tissue, on the other hand, is involved in the storage of fats, and therefore the conversion of this kind of tissue to BAT is essential for the metabol uh, metabolism of fats. Agents that bring about browning of fats are essentially fat burners that, they, as they promote fatty acid oxidation. Uh, at a 2016 study by Daegu University it evaluates the role of CBD in the browning of adipocytes. Uh, the results show that CBD induced the expression of certain genes, uh, particularly UCP1, which are markers for development of BAT. Uh, therefore, CB usage helps in converting storage adipocytes uh, to cells involved in the production of metabolic energy. And to summarize all of that, uh, CBD has shown remarkable potential as a fat burner because they promote uh, the browning of storage adipose tissue and consequently facilitate the loss of fat mass. Yeah, so, yeah, that's a lot of, uh, a lot of information on fat burning and kind of how it works, and uh, CBD plays a role in helping increase, uh, helping promote uh, the brown adipose tissue, which is responsible for the thermal regulation, which is responsible for fat burning. Uh, so all of those things mixed together, um, and that's pretty awesome that we can use CBD as a supplement to help you burn more fat. All right, and yeah, so those are the five the five ways that CBD can help uh, promote weight loss and, and obesity. Um, they go down and they talk about dosage and precautions. Um, they kind of talk about the same things that we talk about in, in all of the videos. Make sure that you're going uh, with, a, with, a, with a good brand. Make sure you know that what, what's in the, in the compound. Make sure that they have third-party lab testing and it's available for you to see. Uh, let's see here. So for dosage, small dosages, uh, or small doses of 50 to 60 milligrams should be initiated, and the optimum dose should be decided according to the individual's tolerance levels. So yeah, so it, and it depends on what kind. I mean, oil, vape, it really that 50 to 60 milligrams is kind of a 
not even a, a number that you should should think about. It definitely matters uh, what kind uh, you're taking. So in this case, I'm assuming this is for CBD oil. Uh, so 50 to 60 milligrams of, let's say, broad spectrum CBD oil is going to be different from uh, 50 to 60 milligrams of uh, broad spectrum water soluble. So it just really depends on the administration. And as far as precautions, um, it kind of just goes through the, the side effects. Um, so we all know the side effects of CBD could be sleepiness, uh, nausea, uh, things like that. Uh, and if you take too much, you're going to experience those side effects. And if you take just right, uh, you're not going to experience those side effects. So uh, a study said that almost over 70% of people do not see side effects or feel side effects from CBD. Uh, so if you're taking it right, you're definitely not going to um, experience those side effects. All right. So yeah, to summarize, it can be said that CBD provides many health benefits that help in treating obesity and promoting weight loss. It decreases the level of certain important proteins required for the process of lipogenesis, which prevents the expansion of adipose tissue. It also limits the number of calories consumed by reduce, reducing food intake during meals. Furthermore, it promotes a negative energy balance by increasing the total energy expenditure. Uh, this is brought about by increasing the number of activity of the mitochondria. CBD also plays an important role in modulating and ex the expression of certain genes which acts as a mark markers of obesity. Finally, it promotes the browning of white adipose tissue which promotes the breakdown and oxidation of stored fat. Yeah, so that's a great summary. Um, CBD does a lot to help with weight loss and obesity. Um, I think there was a study in, done uh, from the CDC saying that 42% of America is obese and that's increased uh, from 30% to 40% in the last 20 years. Uh, so obesity seems like it's a huge issue, especially in the United States. And if something as national as CBD can help you um, with that and help you lose weight, help you um, get to a better place to where you can lose weight faster or lose weight in general, um, it's definitely an awesome thing to, to talk about and to study. Um, I don't really have that many people that come into the store thinking that CBD can help them with weight loss and obesity. Uh, so it's definitely uh, a newer um, idea when it comes to CBD oil. Uh, but that's it for this article. I wanted to go over these five benefits on how CBD oil can help with weight loss and obesity. Very good information. Uh, a little bit over my head when it comes to some of the technical terms for, uh, for losing weight and, and, and mitochondria and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, generally, you can, you can understand how CBD oil um, can be used very effectively for weight loss and obesity um, in conjunction with actually um, like working out and, and dieting and, and, and doing the, the things that you can do to, to reduce your weight. Um, it's definitely a great thing for CBD to be in this space. Uh, so that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, definitely like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, um, if you've ever used CBD oil, definitely comment in, in the comment section. Tell me what you used it for. Tell me uh, what brand. Tell me how much you used. Uh, I'd like to know just because I, I like to get all this information. I like to see what other people are doing and uh, kind of put those things together uh, so that I have uh, better things to say to people who walk in the store and are looking to better themselves. Uh, but, but yeah, thanks again, um, and you guys have a wonderful day. All right, bye now.